Hi, this is Ben Sykes. Uh, welcome to Tip Tuesday. I'm glad to have you this week. So this week I thought we'd concentrate maybe on some smaller things. Uh, maybe they aren't big enough uh, individually to merit a Tip Tuesday. Usually we're looking at a bigger feature, but if you put them all together, uh, maybe fi learn five smaller things uh, today. So five quick things about field layouts uh, that are kind of neat to know, maybe would help you um, use them a little bit better. So the first one would be uh, in a field layout, um, sometimes it's helpful just to know the actual field name that's used behind the scenes. If you've got a lot of custom fields that have been renamed in various ways, maybe for different companies, or maybe you're designing a custom report that is going to rely on the actual field names behind the scenes, or you're just an admin and you want to know how things work, um, then you can do that as long as you're a system administrator in the system because we don't want this to be a security issue. But if you're logged in as a system administrator, just go into the header and turn on display real field names as hints. And then in that mode, whenever you fly over a field, you'll see the actual field name. So typically those on the equipment view would always apply to uh, the gauges table. But if you fly over one that happens to be uh, a different table like the lab notes, uh, it'll give you that as a prefix for the table name. So it can be very handy uh, to be reminded of those. That's tip number one. Uh, tip number two is sometimes if you get a complicated, uh, especially an equipment layout, there can be just a lot for you to see on screen. And so one quick way to make more space is you can go to any of these groups that you've got and just right mouse click on the group and say uh, an expand button. And then you can toggle that on and off and then save that with the layout. And so now you only have to see that information uh, as you expand it. So if you put several of these in your layout, then you can really make things uh, a lot smaller when you first go in and see things. That's tip number two. Uh, tip number three Sometimes, I mean, there can be so many different fields that are available in IndieSoft, especially on the equipment layout, and it can be a little bit uh, overwhelming seeing these listed in the available items listed on the right. Um, the important thing to keep in mind is, first thing is you have this button on the very right for view as a tree or a plain list. So if it's a tree, then whatever structure you've got in your, your layout tree view on the left, like say we decided to take this entire right column and make it non-visible, then if we drag that over here, then it's going to retain the organization of those fields in the available items. So it's trying to set us up for in the future, if we want to bring this back in, we can just drag it right back and add it into our layout. So sometimes that's helpful and sometimes uh, it's not because then you put it in the available items over here and now it's got a big structure and sometimes you just want to target into the one item. So that's what we're getting at by this toggle here. Plain list just lists everything uh, alphabetically by the groups. And then a quick way to find things, just put focus into that uh, plain list type of item and just start uh, searching with your keyboard. And as you type, you'll incrementally search and quickly find the field that you need. So toggle that off, type with your keyboard. Uh, that's uh, the third tip. The fourth tip is sometimes it's nice whenever you move to an asset, let me, uh, take these off here, that you have a more consistent focus on where you land when the equipment view uh, draws on screen. And oftentimes the very first thing that you want to do when you go to an equipment view is to locate an asset anyway. So one great way to do that is just to customize. We'll use this trick we just talked about for equipment searching. And how did I do this here? Search is the name. So what I like to do is just place this right above your, your top item on the left. So whatever your top item is in the upper left, and especially if it's the search item specifically, then that will always take focus whenever a layout is drawn. So if there's a search item in here um, that's visible, that's where the focus is going to go. So if we move between assets or we locate that maybe from another dialog, that's always where the keyboard focus is going to go. And that enables you to just quickly start typing 
and then that'll immediately launch into your search. And however you have that configured with the number of search characters before you execute a search, then you can quickly locate uh, whatever asset you might need. So that's the fourth tip. Uh, the last tip is, say you've got a brand new asset that you add in, let's say um, new gauge two, and it's basically empty fields and you know you just need to fill this out. But uh, maybe you're going to walk around and try to do this off and you're not necessarily in front of a computer. Uh, you might have a worksheet that you've created in Print Builder to do that. Um, but oftentimes you've already done the work in the field layout of giving a nice intuitive uh, look and feel uh, where everything should be and it, it already has boxes. So one quick report that you could create that maybe fill out uh, on your own time is just a right mouse click and say print layout. And that takes the same look and feel that you have in the equipment field layout and gives you a reporting interface for that. I'll make this a little smaller so you can see the full dialog here. So this is uh, something you could send to the printer or you could export it to PDF and uh, it's got nice boxes for you to go ahead and, and fill out. So you don't necessarily have to create a report that looks just like your field layout. You already have access to that. That particular option was released in 1308 so you might want to make sure uh, you're on the most recent build. That's it. Thanks.